Hello friends and welcome back to our series of tutorial on advanced embedded system development. These training courses targets advanced topics on embedded system like TCP IP stacks, real time operating systems, 32 bit processors, graphical user interface, TFT LCDs, memory card and mass storage, digital audio and much much more. So come join us and grow your skills, advance your career and move ahead in life, build your dream products and launch your startup. In this lesson we will be focusing on configuration of LWIP. By configuration I mean customizing certain aspects of the stack. We customize or configure the library to make it suit our needs, the needs of the current project which we are developing. Embedded libraries are generally highly configurable. So if we have a very small and simple project, we can configure LWIP and our application to run on a small microcontroller uh, with a very small amount of RAM and flash. This helps us make our end product cost effective and simple. On the other hand, if we have a project that is a bit complex, then we can configure LWIP to become a bit more powerful and support more features. But in this case, it will require more RAM. Uh, but as complex project will run on a powerful processor, this is not a problem. So now let us understand the configuration process of LWIP. The file lwipops.h, which stands for LWIP option, is the center of configuration system of LWIP. You can think of this file like the setting section of your mobile or PC application from where you can customize that app or software to suit your need. But here configuration is done through the use of C language pre-processing system uh, that is by the use of hash defined statements. Some configuration items are of on off type uh, that means we can turn on or turn off certain features using these options. On the other hand other types of configuration mainly affects the memory requirement of the application. How you can configure these parameters depends on your end use. Two primary type of application that we build with LWIP are server applications and client applications. Generally the server applications are more complex and need more RAM and processing power. Uh, while client applications are re easy to write and they need less RAM. Uh, generally here we configure the number of active TCP socket connections that we require. And this directly affects the amount of RAM LWIP will consume. If we are writing a client application then we need only one active connection to send data to our server. But on the other hand if we are writing a web server application we cannot tell how many clients will exactly connect to our server at once. Even if you are planning to use this server on a local network and you are the only client that would open a request to this web server using your web browser. In that case also your embedded server would get a number of requests uh, to open multiple connections. This is because all modern browsers use multi threads. They use multiple threads to open multiple connections simultaneously to a web server to download multiple resources at once. For example, a one connection will be opened to download the HTML contents of your site and few other connections would be opened to download other resources on your website like the images. So a modern browser does not download resources serially one by one to show up your web page, rather it downloads few of them in parallel. To handle this your embedded web server should be capable of opening multiple say 6 or 8 simultaneously connections at once. To keep LWIP ops.h file short and clean, LWIP supports the concept of smart default setting and their overriding. So we have the default values for all configurable properties and if we are okay with those default values we do not need to define them in our LWIP ops.h header file. We only need to define those properties which we would like to change. So how does this happen? The answer is that there is another file with similar name and this one is ops.h. 
and this file that is ops.h file it is the part of standard source distribution of lwip while the file lwip ops.h is the part of your application and it's your responsibility to create the file lwip ops.h but even this file is not the part of standard distribution the file lwip ops.h is referenced from several source file of lwip so wherever we put this file in our project structure we need to add that location in in the list of uh, search path that is the include search path so how does this happen L let me show you that so here is my id my stm32 cube id and here is my project and at the top level i have created this folder lwip and when you expand it i have a, uh, i have an, another sub folder named target and inside that i have kept my lwip ops.h file and when i double click this file it loads in the editor and from here we can do the configuration and as this lwip ops.h file it is the part of my application and it is not the part of standard lwip distribution that is why i have kept it under this target folder and the actual lwip source file those i have kept inside the middleware folder so if you expand the middleware folder uh, we have the third party because this is a third party library so all uh, those lwip related files are inside this third party folder and inside it uh, i have free artos and lwip and this is the actual distribution source distribution of the lwip files and this so to make this file that is lwip ops.h accessible to the actual source file the source file of lwip uh, we have to add this folder uh, that is this folder lwip and this target folder to a list of include directories so how we can do that let us see first right click on this project and then go to properties this property dialog will open and from there on the left hand side expand this c c++ build and then go inside settings and inside that we have to go to this section mcu gcc compiler and inside that we have to go to this section include paths so here is the list of include paths where the compiler will look for the header files so we need to just add this one more path to this list so how we can do that for that you have to click this little plus icon that stand for add add a new path uh, just click it and it will prompt you for the directory name so here we type in the name like this double dot slash lwip and slash target so this um, this folder is also added to the list of include paths so that whenever uh, a c file will reference this lwip ops.h file it can easily find it here click ok now let me open one of the source file of lwip stack for that i am going inside this middleware folder and inside third party folder inside it lwip source that is src core and let me open this file for example ip.c so as you can see here it is including the file ops.h it is not directly including the user file that is lwip ops.h rather it is directly including the file op.h which is the part of standard distribution so now let us go inside this op.h file uh, press control on your keyboard and then click on this link uh, it will open this file op.h and now let us see how this system is working so inside this op.h file uh, the first thing it is doing is including the lwip ops.h that means the user defined file and uh, since we have already defined the path to this file inside the list of include folders so it will easily find the uh, compiler will easily locate this file and include it here and now let us see how the magic is happening uh, what this file is doing op.h file uh, how it is working uh, so for every so for every configurable par parameter it is uh, doing a check whether the that macro is already defined or not 
so inside this op.h file it is checking each and every configurable parameter one by one for example here it is checking and it is checking using the hash if directive uh, for that if that macro is defined or not so this one is a configurable parameter that uh, this one no sys so it is checking if not defined if this if this if this macro is not defined already so it will uh, provide a default implementation so if this is not defined then it will define no sys like this so for example in this line it is checking whether this macro that is lwip tcp ip core locking whether this is defined or not so it is calling this like this uh, hash if uh, this stand for not so we can read it like this if not defined this one if this macro is not defined it will uh, define it will go inside this line the next line if it is inside this if block so it will then define it that is lwip core locking equal to one that means if uh, in the user file we are not defining this macro it will uh, define it like this so this is the default value so if you leave this option uh, if you do not define this macro it will define a, a default one like this so here it is defining lwip core locking as one so in this way it is providing default for this configuration option in the same way it is providing uh, checking each and every macro whether it is defined or not and if it is not defined it is providing a default implementation so you can go through this file and check it is working like this all parameters are checked using hash if hash if like this or parameters are checked and defaults are provided so in this way lwip provide default values for each and every configurable item so this completes our discussion see you in the next lesson